Arlen Elboer here from Orthopedic and Balance Therapy. In today's video, we're going to discuss your rotator cuff muscles. There are actually four muscles in your rotator cuff. They all originate from your shoulder blade and insert into the top end of our arm bone. Their main job is to make sure that the ball end of our arm bone is centered into the shoulder socket. And when our rotator cuff muscles are healthy and free from injury, they're able to allow your, to, for you to reach in all directions with your arm smoothly and without pain. So let's go ahead and dive in and look at those four muscles of your rotator cuff. So this is a diagram of um, our right, the right upper quadrant of our body. I'm going to peel away some muscles in this region to reveal our rotator cuff muscles right here. Now the, th the first three muscles that I'm going to talk about are located in the back of the shoulder blade. The first muscle is your supraspinatus. Just below that is the infraspinatus. And then even lower than that would be your teres minor. Please note that these three muscles, your supraspinatus, your infraspinatus, and your teres minor, all insert into the outer part of the top part of your arm bone. Okay, now how about the fourth muscle? The fourth muscle is located in the front of your shoulder blade, right behind our rib cage. It's called the subscapularis muscle. Now the difference is the subscapularis muscle inserts more right into the top part, the front part of the arm bone. In our next video, we will dive deeply into the supraspinatus muscle, which is, by the way, the most commonly injured muscle and tendon in our rotator cuff. And during that next video, I will show you how to test for a supraspinatus tear, what you can do on your own, some self-help techniques you can do on your own to allow your supraspinatus tendon to heal quicker. And I'll show you a few exercises during that video. I will see you then.